And we're back to our new war. Gonna check out this hotel, see who's inside. Is that this Phelps and Earl? LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. This guy talks extremely weird. Just saying. Yellow cab. We need to get after her. Fast. Okay. Where is this cab at? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Will do. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Well, we got an address. Let's go check it out. I always gotta set it every single time. Not that bad, just, you know. Whatever. You can drive. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure. Why are we going so slow? Than if taken the Never just, trust the what the fuck? Especially where a fight's concerned. Was that cop the car next to us and our car out. had like synchronized with speed. We were both going slow and then oh, gotta go faster. That was so weird. I guess two cops think alike. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. It's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. Calm your tampon, knows. Roy. I think out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Where is this little bitch going? You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. What are you talking about? We're fine, you fucking idiot. Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. Driving in real life is easier than this, believe it or not. Much easier. And tailing people is not that difficult in real life as it is in this. Not that I would know, I just figure. Believe me. 
That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Yep. I just want to punch this bitch in the face. If I can just try to drive as carefully as I possibly can, I should be okay. Hope it isn't too much farther from here because this is not that easy. Pull over. He's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let him see you. Oh, great. I survived the war for this. Ah. There we go. Nice thing about egotists, they don't talk about That's other the cop from the newspapers. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front what of the What the hell? That's the cop reporter. Run! Run! Call an ambulance. <laughs> Try and sit still, Candy. Make Who me shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Just might as well search around. Thirty two caliber, one shot fired. That's weird. The Egyptian theater. It's probably where he's at. Maybe. Not entirely sure. So, what now? At the theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Well, something was in there. One sec. I think. Hmm. Okay. Let's go over to the theater. I think Albert most you know likely way. kills you can drive. Her. Most likely. You're an idiot, Roy. You are an idiot. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Well, that certainly sucks, but she got what was coming to her for not telling me jack shit. So, take that. That's what you get. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, uh, message from the coroner. 
cause of death was a knife wound. I repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB player. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Let's hope so. It's kind of a cool looking theater, actually. One I've seen the movie here. It was real, that is. Somebody's inside. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best. Thing. You were washed up, kid! You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere! Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and made the quick buck. And Candy did it and make those dreams come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon! A big mistake, Arcaro. You, you limey cocksucker. Where'd he go? I'm gonna kill this man. Where is he at? Is he back downstairs? Son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl? You're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. 
That guy's a major dick. Well, at least we got the case done. Oh well. Shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Well, that certainly sucks, doesn't it? But this uh, guy is a major dick. Yep, this morphine's starting to get way out of hand, so when we come back, we will investigate this case, the Manifest Destiny, see what this is all about, and uh, hopefully solve it. So, until then, stay tuned for the next video. And you know what I'm going to say, which is subscribe.